the live ended. But I came back. Yeah, I had to come back. So if you want to come back on here, Pat, you could come back. But I'm mean, going to start you right here. You took your lick from messing with them. But to be honest, you ain't got no lick to take. I'm going to tell you the truth. You ain't got no lick to take. Because first of all, whoever his old lady is ain't your friend, first of all. So you don't owe no bitch, no loyalty. And where she must up at is she should have been calling you. She should have called her nigga. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm happy that I'm single. I that went through a toxic relationship before. And when love make you do some dirty, dumb things, I'm sorry. But see, when you got to go and, and, and play Barbara and Shirley, bitch, when you, you got to call a bitch and ask them or tell them they're breaking up your happy home, that's big. That's what I'm saying. Fuck love. love. Ain't nobody looking for love these days. They're looking for help, you ask me. So I say that to say this. Please. If I decide to mess with somebody, please don't call me asking me no questions. Because even if I'm not messing with whoever you accusing me of messing with, I'm going to tell you I'm messing with them because my goal is to now, since I know that I'm under your skin and I have no reason to be under your skin, but I'm under your skin, I want you to commit suicide. Please. Please. That's the worst thing you could do is call the person your significant other is messing over you with and ask questions. Don't do that. You're fucking over yourself. When you're weak, you beat. Don't ask me nothing about your nigga, ask your nigga. Don't ask me nothing about your bitch, ask your bitch. And that's just that on that. In my honest opinion, this may be a fact. You know what? This is a fact. Please, don't come ask me nothing about nobody you involved with. Because you and me ain't friends. I don't owe you no loyalty. And I damn sure don't owe you no explanation. So please refrain from calling me. But see, I don't have them problems because they know I'm going to push the button and say go live. And we will discuss it with the America. Yes, Lord. So I'm happy I don't have them problems. So let's just move right along. Carl, who? This is simply Nola. Is this my niece? I thought they said she was in jail. Girl, they told me you was in jail, Who, babe. Me? Yeah. Oh no, babe. I smile on mug shots. I have been being my best, baby. That's because I'm out the way in my own lane, trying to build better, trying to make positive moves. Not in jail. It is in my Thanks. home. <clears throat> yes, Lord. When I was in jail for What's the girl? I don't even think you were shooting at somebody or something. I don't know if they ain't dead, it ain't me. But listen, I came up here to address what the lady said about the problem start at the school. Right. I just don't agree with that because you're raising your own children. How the problem start at school? You have eight hours in school, 16 hours at home with your parents. I don't care how old they is. If y'all see my children on here, nobody's not going to know that's my children in the street because my children don't roll the way I roll. It don't matter how old you is when you're raising your children. If you see me at the second line, you, if I don't be at downtown second lines. I be at uptown. My turn to be with me because I need to know what they're doing. They're not about to be running the street. Not, not one is 18. I had my turn at 16, 17, 18. That ain't my fucking friends. I don't care how old I was. You That's right. hold your children accountable for their actions because if you make it okay for them to do that, why would they listen to somebody else in the street to do that? That's right. And the school don't even have books or nothing for children. So they need to be out here working with their community to get the books back in school, teach their children how to read, do they, did they do anything for Martin Luther King? They No. Next month about mm -hmm. to be, what, Black History Month? They only making movements on Black History Month. 
teach your children their history. Stop telling them children, oh, your daddy was a gangster. Because now they want to live in their daddy footsteps. Still, you telling them your daddy was a gangster and led them to the grave. I need you to be better than what you're doing right now. That's right. Like, and I know a lot of people see me and be like, oh, I'm ignorant and all that. And that's fine. Because I grew up the way I grew up. One fight, all fight. But that's not the generational no move. That's, that's not. Right. Like, if my kid's going out the door, I'm picking my children up. Like those people that was in that Airbnb and Lord rest that little girl's soul. Like ain't no way because before they got to that Airbnb, it been stories about that same place for them to be shooting out there and all that. Like you don't just let your children go here and go there. I don't care if they say they don't have nothing else for them to do. Still see where your children going. Drop them off. Pick them up. If they won't go by their friend house, you they need a phone. Have their location. Monitor what they do. That is not your friend. Today in New Orleans, everybody want to be everybody's friend. And that shit is right. not cool because when your friend is dead, what we doing? Crying? You going to get another friend? That's no. Right. They, they got everybody following. Oh, R&B night and all that. And while y'all at R&B night, y'all don't know what y'all children doing. They jumping out the windows. They jumping in people's cars. For what? You know that's your child in somebody's car. So what are you doing? You making it feel like that's okay. And then when they go to juvenile detention, those people is, is making them turn fight for each other. Because when the children go to jail, their parents not even right there behind them on their side. You know what they tell them? Oh, I ain't put you there. So now that's how they breaking out because the deputies is putting them, pending them against each other. That's why our generation is the way it is now. These adults not holding them accountable. And if they see you in that jailhouse and they know that you don't care about your child, what they going to do? They going to tell everybody to do him something or they going to make your child what they want to make him. Right. So for her to say that started in the school, I, it does not matter. Yes, the community is broken. The community is broken because we are broken as a yes. family. Like that I just don't understand. I just understand how it's not normal. It's not normal for two, three, four people to get killed in one day. Like that's exactly. not normal. Exactly. It did. It's not. And what's so sad is for the news to say the other day, today is the first day that we had no, no shootings. Is that something? Yes. Yes. And then you got the people on there saying who? Because if it's my child, I'm not about to tell on them. Yeah, because you in there because you condoning it. That's how your child is living in these streets. That means you getting something out of that. So that's why. And then everything, like, I do hate that for the male. That lady is not raising y'all kids. Is the male fault that the, that the kids is shooting? Did she give them the gun? Is it the male Girl, fault? the male got the, I don't understand the male. I understand she got to be professional, but she got to open yes. her mouth and talk. All these adults that's got something to say and all that about signing the paper and all that, girl, please, I'm going to say what I got to say. They don't and want that, me to be the mayor. Then why you signing the papers? You know why they signed the papers? That is the Lakeview and Lakeshore area because it was okay until the children start making it over there. Because, see, y'all got possessions and y'all called that we want. They don't have none in the hood. Them the same people that voted her in, now y'all won't vote her out. Now I understand once y'all put somebody in place, y'all still hold them accountable because y'all see them as leaders. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the end of the day, the mayor recall why everybody jumping on the wagon is for those people in Lakeshore benefits, not y'all. It's because she didn't do what they wanted to do, but they know how to turn these black us black people uh, against, each against each other. Once each other. black people right. don't move, they gonna have a neighborhood meeting, a event, and they gonna make a movement. They gonna organize and build. They gonna a stick. Place. They gonna stick together. Together, together. You got one, two, three people only because the lady ain't do something personal for y'all. Y'all got. Larry, all them people, Larry Monroe and all them that they always talk about, when those people went to that lady for a plan or however they want to get buildings and warehouses in New Orleans, they had a plan mapped out. Half of them black people that's gone behind her mad because she did not help them. But guess what? If you come to me and tell me, all right, you want to build this warehouse, and I ask you, all right, well, what a foundation is? How you got it? Give me your plan. And you don't have no structure? No, I'm not going to help what you. What the fuck you want me no, to do? No, I'm not right. going to help you. With all that waste man management, when Ida was out here, and all y'all was helping people bringing water. Y'all ain't see the community doing that. Y'all ain't see nobody doing that. That was a time right there to get you some contracts, some LLCs, some everything, because she was issuing it out. If you had a business that you want to move, that was your time to use it. That's that, right. That was your time to use it. So for her, I'm just up here because one thing about me for education with my children is best because I don't want my children to go through what I go through. And a lot of people know me on here. I'm fighting first, doing my time and asking questions later. But I'm trying to yes, grow yes. and turn that around. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want that to be a constant thing that my children see. But one thing about my children, if you see my child right now today, they're going to speak to you. They're very polite. 
they're very respectable. Yes, they know how to fight, and yes, they know how to handle their business, but if some, they're just not messy. They're not in these streets. They're not picking on you. One thing I want my children to do is get their education and get out here. Get out here. Y'all can leave me right here. As long as I know that y'all straight and I can touch y'all, that's what y'all need to do because look who about to be president. Trump gonna get back in office if it ain't right. Like, like you said, people coming down here to New Orleans, when you have a ride in Washington, come fix Washington first. Thank you. Why are y'all down here? Right. Like, they keep on saying they want to find somebody for the superintendent. What's wrong with Woodford? What's wrong with her? Let her stay. Right, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? That, that family making legacy because they're growing and building their children. Yep. Just like a nail shop, they're going to put two people in there. Three months later, that person going to be gone. You know why? Because they helped that person get their own nail shop and all that. Now they're no, moving on to another people. nail shop to open up a one and groom another exactly. one. That's right. But you know what we're doing? We getting our own nail shop, and you know what the black, the the first thing they say? Oh, I'm black owned. But when you get there, bitch, this set right here costs two hundred dollars. What the fuck? Why it costs two hundred dollars for a gel set with diamonds? Like, like they just overrated. You bring the value in a my phone went going there. Understand that the value in the market going up, and I understand this inflation. But at the end of the day, you don't do that to. Just say, oh, because I want to charge this, I want to charge that. You minimize that. I'm not saying make stuff affordable, but be realistic about the things that you're doing. Right. right. So I'm going to leave with Grace, and I'm not in jail. I, oh, and by the way, I had to uh, feed the homeless. Thanks for everybody that donated. And my mom was the number one donator, cooked the food, keys, up, lock and key. Y'all already know. So, and I do appreciate everybody that donated, everybody that came through. But when y'all see Nola for not on, it's all about positivity. It's never about nothing else. Because I'm too smart to keep on letting that go in the street. That's right. Like, I have degrees. I may just look like this. But for that girl, no, it's eight hours in school. It's 16 hours at home with your parents. It starts right. with the parents. Hold them turn accountable. And they too cute to be doing all that stuff like that. Them the boys is handsome. Them the girls right. is beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. They don't need just teach them, show them the right way. Stop going to the second line. Stop doing it. Like take time with your children. If you're not taking time, they're looking for that somewhere else. If y'all feel like That's it's right. not enough for the do, if they don't have enough to do, let's make it enough for the do. It used to be when we was growing up, Keith, because I grew up after you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They had, yeah. they had the stuff for the teenagers. Like 60 of them had the stuff on too late. Your children were safe. You were yep. able to drop your children up, pick them up. I do know they don't have nothing to do but what we got to do we got to advocate that to make it better so that's i'm gonna leave with grace and i am free and that's my little family up there but i do want to tell you i do want to tell you, i do want to tell you um um fuck your mama lock and key <laughs> <laughs> thank <laughs> you hasta la vista fuck your mom but yes um i, I agree with 85 percent of what she was saying because i don't feel like you have to stop your life stop what you're doing to go tending them fucking chairs. Sometimes, you know, I mean, we got to be honest. Sometimes it's fuck them chair. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Sometimes it's fuck them chair. Some, sometimes it gets overwhelming and you need you need to step out. You know what I'm saying? R&B night, you need to go to R&B night. You need to go to the, um, these different places and just get from around them chair. You know what I'm saying? Them children be ex exhausting. But at the end of the day, if, you, if you're all out, wherever you, wherever you may be, or whomever you may be with, or whomever you're outside doing, if you get wind of what your child is doing, or if you know your child did it, all that stick beside him and all that stick beside him. Josem in jail. Because if your child do anything fucked up to me, or anything fucked up to anybody I know, or do anything fucked up, period, you got to know your child is going to jail. I'm telling you. They're going to jail. And, I, and I'm going to push for you to go to jail with him. Sound about right. So yeah, I don't feel like you need to stop what you doing because you're cheering. Because I was, I was raised as, and I hate to say it like this, but I was raised as, don't do as, don't do what the fuck I do, I'm adult. You see what I'm saying? You stay in a child's place. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes when I'm sitting down talking to some some people, you know, my friends are that's adults, the chair can pull up a chair and be sitting down talking with us. I wasn't raised like that. I was raised when adults talk and you get the fuck up out of here. Straight up, yeah, you know. But let's just keep going. Adding these people, they got a people trying to get in here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. But I just understand. Ain't this much beef in America? I just don't understand all the murders that's going on in Wallace. Hello. 
Yeah, you got to get your better Wi-Fi or something, Pepe. No, I was on my other phone, but now I'm back on my regular phone. It should work perfectly fine now. That water, that phone, how you, you got water in it, but we can listen. Go ahead. But to all y'all in the comments, fuck all y'all. I'm going to get back up here and tell my story, period, either way. So like I was saying, she called me one day when I was at work, and I didn't answer the phone, so she texted me. And she was like, you were born in a happy home and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, check your nigga. That's all I said, see? Check your nigga. You, you did right, because you don't owe her no, you don't owe her. See you don't owe her no loyalty. That ain't your friend. I'm like, you see what he's doing. Go check your nigga. And then we fast forward him. I, I, I still kept dealing with him. She still kept dealing with him, too. So obviously he was manipulating the both of us, not just me, sir. It was you, too. If you still dealing with him, if you still allow with him to do that to you and you know about me, it's manipulating you, too. Something, you, something we could barely hear you, feel like you're underwater or something. Yeah, something wrong with her phone. At the end of the day, listen, I understand what she's saying. And like I said, that girl ain't wrong for doing nothing she did. If the girl called her phone, the girl was in her feelings. Girl, look, go call your friends and discuss how bad of a nigga your friends to your friends. Go talk to your mammy. Go talk to your family. Go talk to your friends. Tell them how your man fucking over you with this girl here. Don't call that girl. That girl don't owe you no loyalty. Call your nigga. You get it? The fuck? Y'all crazy. And please don't call me asking me about nobody who what girl be with me if they they if they fuck with your man. Hey, don't ask me. Hey, I'm, what's going on? I wanted to apologize for the last time I was on here, right? Oh yeah. See, you remember? I don't know if you remember, but you asked for me. But uh, I did. What happened? Yeah, I I don't even want to speak on it because you don't remember. So it wasn't too bad. But I just want to say. No, I remember this Audi name, but I can't remember what happened. Yeah, I don't want to say it because I don't want you to click me out again. Well, girl, you here? Not bad. We, we go in twenty twenty three. We gonna start doing that. We gonna start talking about situations, and then a month, two months later, we gonna bring up the same people and see where did we move on from here. <laughs> so what happened? Man? We gonna talk with you. I brought up somebody that you don't fuck with, but not on like no messy shit, but I just said they mean, and you kind of like was like, oh no, but I was trying to tell you who I was. Last time I was on here, we was talking about doing that little Apollo thing. You remember? It was like, we was going to do the little showtime. Well, you were saying like that was a good idea, but I was saying there should be like some type of talent show or some shit. So I'm going to bring it back to the kids. The kids need something to do. Like... They need activities more. They need ways to make their own money, like not just no little McDonald's shit, like some real shit that could teach them how to be entrepreneurs, like ways for them to, you know, move up in the world. Like when I was growing up, I don't, I ain't learned how to write no check till I was an adult. I ain't learned how to do all that shit. Like they need to learn how to do all that shit. Like that's what they're missing. They don't have nothing to do. Right. Like, well, we was having T night form. We was having T night form on Saturdays, and I'm gonna tell you something. It go really, really good. But you know, Ryan, he be all into everything and all this, and Ryan be having this going on, having that going on. So Ryan be all tied up and all of them children be looking forward to that. Like with them children, you have to be consistent. Because mm -hmm. at the end mm -hmm. of the day, they be looking for something. Well, bitch, I know Saturday, Key Carol got the tea night going on. So they know Sunday through Friday, they go do what they got to do to make sure that they could go, make sure they had their pieces, make sure they had their money so they could get in, they could go. So it's like it's giving them something to work towards. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to nice. be consistent. I told Ryan that, but it ain't me, it's Ryan fucking up. They they definitely need something. And there's, it should be more than just on him. You know what I'm saying? All these other people, they got businesses and shit. They should be doing shit too. Why they sitting here talking about all this shit getting so bad, but none of them doing stuff. The people that really got the ability to do it need to do it. It's not on us regular people that don't, that's still trying to get our lives together. That's not on us. The only thing that we need to do is make sure we're raising our kids the right way. You know what I'm saying? But like for the people that got all that shit right now, got the resources, got the tools, they should be helping us to help each other. Like, that's how it should go. Not like, oh, no, y'all on your own type shit. But that's just, I don't know. But um, can I can I uh, change the subject a little quick? Yeah, can, I, uh, can I brand myself right quick since I'm up here? Brand yourself. you 7,000 people. I, I sing. So if oh, anybody... Go ahead, girl. Let me hear something, please. Um, if I could change the world. I give the world, wrap it all around you, 
won't be satisfied with just a piece of his heart, my angel. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, angel, you're my angel. Yeah. So if y'all want to sing us something, I sing all type of stuff. I make my own music too, so if y'all like, like that. On. That's what I was trying to do last time, but I got Asta, so I got my little moment. Thank you, Keith. No problem. <laughs> okay. Believe with grace. All right. Yeah, see what I'm saying? I don't know what to say no more. I really don't, because they can't keep blaming the chair. It ain't only the chair breaking the cause and all that. It's the adults, too. I hate to say it. Y'all got to stop. Oh, I think they sent me a video. Let me see if I got this video, because I need to know who this parent is. They sent their child on somebody's porch. I think this is it right here. Look her. Look at that. That lady over there sent her child on somebody's porch to steal their package. Ain't that sad? That's a sad bitch. Do y'all know this, this little girl? Let me play it again. Oh, it's a time. Let me try to play it again. Look. Oh, y'all can hear? Y'all can hear? She talk, she running to the mom with the face and say, look at mom, I got it. I got it for you. Ain't that sad? That is sad. That little girl got that uh, thing off the people poach. Look, y'all can't hear. She gonna say, I got it for you, mama. She said, look at mama, I got it for you. That's sad. That's sad. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so sad. That's just so sad. Girl, that's so sad. Ooh, Lord, these parents is nothing, I'm telling you. Ooh, that's so sad. Got your child to go steal a people package. Use a low-down, dirty cum rag, you nasty bitch. I wish I knew who you was. I roll you nasty bitch all up and down this internet. That's a shame. That little girl don't know no better. Mama. Oh, what's up, Key, baby? How you doing? How oh, you what's doing? Going right? What's going on? <laughs> I just had to sip my little wine. Right. Because I wanted to touch back. Let me go all the way back. I wanted to piggyback off of when you said from how you was raised. Because evidently, how you was raised was how we was raised. My best son sitting right up. Oh, yeah. Hey, so best friend. Here. Hey, best so, friend. How you was raised is how we was raised. You know, we we all came up in the era where when adults was talking, sure had to get the fuck up out of here. Oh, they had yes to go Lord. and cut their business. Oh, yes, Lord. And, and just only in my opinion, because, see, I have children, but my daughters are fully grown today. Hey, Kwana, your shit, or it. But anyway, I think the parents stopped whipping their motherfucking asses. They stopped whipping them children's asses. They want to become their children's friend. You heard me, true. Parents started sitting out smoking weed with they 12, 13, 14 year old, 15 year old. You feel what I'm saying? The child don't want to go to school. They don't force him to go to school. It was like the child took, the kids took over. You heard me? Then they start whipping the parents' ass. We didn't come up in none of that motherfucking shit. You understand what I'm saying? I come from an era where the mama said, if you ain't get the fuck out the room, she said, get the fuck, you got back the fuck. That's right. You heard me? Then you're walking off crying in silence. Bitch, right. you heard me? Yeah, that's, that's right. the type of Ooh. shit. And and, and 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 I agree, you know, true. Coming up in New Orleans, man, they had buku shit for the youth to do. They used to have after school programs, they had basketball, little league, football, little league. You feel what I'm saying? They always had the little team clubs. They always been doing that, you heard me? But they shut a lot of that shit down, you heard me? It starts in the home, you heard me? When they send the bad ass kids to school, them children, them teachers be going through hell, bitch, dealing mm. with y'all bad ass motherfucking kids. Yeah. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Them teachers be going through hell dealing with the fucking shit y'all refuse to deal with. You feel me? You got to get back to you. Half of the parents too busy. They want to run the street and pussy pop and fuck the next bitch, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. They out there trying to get them something. They need to get their sons. 
For real. For real. Straight up. And, and it's sad. And we losing to the killing is out of fucking control in my city. You heard me? And, and, and it's sickening. Don't get in. I remember, man. Bitch, I'm going to take you back. I remember back in 94, we used to say, oh, we was the murder capital of the world. And we thought that shit was cool. You heard me? Oh, yeah. We thought that was the shit. But listen to that shit today when they say that shit. That shit ain't nothing to be proud of. That shit is heartbreaking. Because that's somebody's child, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. And everybody talk that motherfucking shit until that shit hit your home, bitch. And it seems until like that back shit in the hit day, your home. Back in the day, we used to hear people, of course, you know, we used to hear people get killed. But it was eight times out of ten, it wasn't nobody that we knew. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, back in the nah, day, when, back in the day when a nigga was doing that killing, let me tell you what the real niggas, the real killers did back in the G. You heard me? First of all, whoever the nigga was or the person was they had a problem with, bitch, they walked up yeah. on them. They didn't do no senseless killing, shooting into no crowds or innocent people, women and children, bitch. Back in the day, they had something called the G code, bitch. Oh, yeah. You heard me? Juvenile rapped about yeah. it, bitch. Oh. You had to stick to it or get the fuck yeah. out the way. You heard oh. me? Straight yeah. like that. Straight like that. That's right. You straight like that, bitch. Right. They ain't do. They weren't killing no women in sure. Niggas handled that shit in the street like niggas was supposed to, bitch. When you saw your enemy or the person you had it with, they had it right then and there. That's right. They wasn't shooting into crowds of people going into school, shooting up the school, the basketball games, and all that dumb ass shit. And I went outside. It went down outside, but. It's totally different today. It's out of control. It's crazy. I got to stay in constant prayer for my turn. You heard me? I pray for my whole city because I love everybody. I don't give a fuck. I'm glad I'm from New Orleans. I love my city. I'm so New Orleans. I represent it to the fullest. But it's out of control, people. And we do need to do something to get it back together. Take off a belt and just start lending out ass with this bitch. I don't know. I'm sure. Because I got it for free. Your, you take off how it is? Where you at right now? In Houston. Yeah, you in Houston. Let me tell you how it's going in New Orleans. You take your belt off right now to hit a child. They go in their books and get a gun to knock you down. I'm telling you. It's, it may sound funny. It's crazy. It may sound bitch. unreal, but that's mm -hmm. what the fuck going on. Listen. Oh, I believe you, bitch. I believe you. Listen. I know you ain't lying. I was out there. I know you ain't lying. My little cousin that got killed 15 years old a month ago. His Damn. Friends I'm was, sorry, baby. His friends was out there. Damn. Them children was 14 to 15 years old with book sex on. I said, well, what's going on? Look at their book sex. They got guns in their book sex. Guns. I ain't going to lie. I'll be honest. I just looked at them. Because what I'm going to say, like them, like them children say, them children be on the lot. They're on here. Look what they say. They say, oh, we need this for protection. I don't know mm -hmm. what to say. I, don't, I ain't, mm -hmm. ain't going to lie and say, I told them mm -hmm. this. I told them this because mm -hmm. I didn't. I ain't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I was more shocked. Mm -hmm. Look what they say. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Um, I got you. Well, I'm not into the mm -hmm. thing. I'm into must be. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. it, it ain't like it used to be. It ain't. It ain't at them all. Them babies, I don't know. I guess we just got to pray for them. That's Keep right. them in prayer. You heard me? All right, mama. That's all we could do. Yeah. I love you. To love you. All right, ma. Yeah, I don't know. See, look, 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 the children on here saying, and do. That's what I'm saying. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to sit on here and say, I told them, why y'all got that? What you doing? All I did was look. Because what you want me to see? Them children is in the street. I ain't in the street like that. But I feel like, God forbid, I feel like if the if the robber or the murderer wanted to rob me, they'll rob me and really get something or think they're going to get something. With them children, they ain't got nothing like that because they're children, so they ain't got nothing like that. So what they need the guns for to protect? That's what I'm saying. I don't get it. I ain't going to lie. Maybe I should have told them children something but at the moment it just wasn't the time to talk about it and them children reach it them children check in with me see y'all don't know and y'all think i'll be capping but y'all see them children on your comment them children text me through the dm every day you good on we got you sometimes i answer back but i want to say like thank you i appreciate it but you got me for what because i don't get into nothing i don't do nothing like that you know what i'm saying but this is the time we live in i don't know what's going on but it's a time the time i want to get crawfish the other day they had three of them walking it was hot outside three of them walking with masks on and hoodies i kept going because I, I didn't know what was about to go on okay look i appreciate you for letting me on here but i'm gonna say this right here now being an educator i don't feel like that i, that. I don't school. feel like that but i'm gonna say but I'm going to say this like you said earlier. You said a lot of these officers are coming down here and they're not from the states. 
a lot of us teachers and shit, we're not from here. So when we get into these classrooms and we dealing with these gangster ass, rough ass kids, we like, what the fuck? Sit the fuck down. Like, you know, chill out. But we can't be like that. Y'all can't say that shit at school. It's yes, not at I home agree. with these goddamn parents. It ain't it, it, it ain't no way, it ain't no way no motherfucker at home who's seven years old talking about he making noodles. No, that's not, not no. And, th and then y'all send them out here into the streets and y'all let them do that shit. And so when the system take them and they snatch their asses up and they throw their asses back out, but they don't have no program for yeah, They don't have truancy no more. Like, we used to be scared. To, like, if we, if we cut school, we was going to cut school in somebody's house. Them children cut school just walking the streets and not do, doing whatever they want. They don't have truancy no more. Like, what? What's up? I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you, truancy don't even fucking work. You can report that shit, and them kids can come in there after the truancy like nothing ever happened. It's not even fucking truancy. It's these fucking parents. We don't hold these fucking parents accountable. Oh, you're right. Excuse my language, but we need to hold them accountable to the fullest. I promise you that. I pr as soon as we start holding them accountable, half of this shit gonna be out of here. Them three Ooh. teenagers who dragged Ooh, their legs, no, the that whole arm off. Where was, was they big, parents? Huh? Where was the parents at? Why, why did they? Why did they not know where the kids was at? They out here robbing people like that's not okay. Like, motherfuckers is afraid to go to work, go to the fucking store, ride around. Like, be normal in the neighborhood right. because they're afraid they're going to get shot or robbed. Shit, last week they robbed all them people at the fucking, whatever the fucking people was doing, my business, broken the 20-something cars. You can't even go out there and do shit because... But I appreciate you for letting me on the Oh, line. Lord. I'm, I'm rapping LA I... all day. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's big. Oh, remember that? Them little children, 15 years old, 14 and all that. Went to take the car, the lady car, and took her whole arm off. That's a shame. And when you say take the arm off, you'd be like, oh, no, you exaggerate. No. I think I might have the pictures in my phone still. I got to see. The lady arm was over there, and her body was over there. That's a shame. Took her arm off to take her car. Listen, the way this set up, please, just take the car. The fuck? Please take my car. But see, I don't have them problems. Them children, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I can't talk about it. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I don't know what's going on. But it ain't can't say it's the, all, all the time it's the cheering because they got adults that's running the race with the cheering. Niece. No. No, Uncle, I want to know. What's the problem with a child making noodles at seven years old? I was making noodles yes. with eggs and sausage. She talking about kids, but she can't have none because she a grown dyke. I still a beast, the bitch. Get your nasty ass from up over here. Nah, get up over here. See what I'm saying? That's why they knocked the noodles out y'all head. Nah. Ooh. All she got was the part with the noodles. I ain't gonna lie, many nights, Kyron was three years old, four years old. I wanted to go outside. I needed a break from Kyron. I would give Kyron that Benadryl, and I was outside having fun. They say, Keith, who inside with Kyron? God was babysitting. And knock on wood, nothing went wrong. Huh, Joyce? Jerry, what's up? When we was at Sam's and all that, you said, Keith, where is Kyron? Inside sleep. Oh, with who? God. God babysit for me many nights. And if God didn't have him, rest in peace to my auntie Deborah. Deborah had him. Hi, huh, Jerry? Come on now, tell me if I'm lying. Jerry, who had Kyron? If Auntie Deborah had him, God. God babysit many nights for me. All right. Please make me know it. You know, I ain't lying. Yes, Lord. God babysit for me a minute nights. I needed a break. I needed a break. Guess in team, who watch a Kyron? God, please. All right, make me know it. You know who watch them. Please. I ain't wrong. Ain't nothing happened. He slept good. He slept good. He woke up for school, ain't never knew nothing was wrong. Got him ready for school. I brought him to school, went back home, went to sleep. God watched him a many nights. I couldn't find a better babysitter than God. What is you saying? I couldn't find a better babysitter than God. Yes, Lord. Yes, indeed. 
Jersey to tell you, she we was dipping and dabbling all in Sam's, all in Caesars. How peaches. you doing, Keith? Hey, how you doing, my love? What's going on? I just have the one thing to say about the video games too. That shit is brainwashing too. Because I have an artistic son that asked me about robbing and, and, and slapping people and taking their calls from playing Grand Theft Auto and I cracked that shit up and threw it away. Like, I feel like that about the video games too. And like the lady said earlier, they do have some parents that try to be their kids' friend until the shit hit home for them. Because I have a 19-year-old son graduated. I, just don't just, I don't feel like I feel like that's just not holding accountability. I, I just feel like that's not a holding accountability. I just feel like blaming a blaming a game, blaming the game, not, just like just like just no, I ain't blaming the game. Well, girl, game, that's but the, it's part of case, it too. If that's the case, back in the day we played with Mario and Luigi. Now I got older. They said Luigi a punk. So they said Luigi but a punk. Now you see what I'm saying? So now you got as, all these kids around here punk. I know, but it wasn't as graphic as it is now. Like it wasn't like they really having sex and everything on these games. You know we ain't have all that on our games, Keith. We might have had Mario cars, bump cars, and, and fighting and shit, Donkey Kong and all that. But they, you know, they're doing a lot. Right. You feel me? They're doing a lot. Right. They're doing right. a lot. Right. Man, I just, but no yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, we was going to play um Super Mario Brothers and all that. Mario and Luigi. All the while, I'm thinking Mario and Luigi was brothers. All the while, Luigi is a punk. You see what I'm saying? What's going on? They're talking about the the Grand Theft Auto and all that bitch. When I got my Nintendo, I had the gun. I played Duck Hunt. I was shooting the ducks. You forgot about that? We was shooting at the ducks with the gun on the Nintendo. Then they make me want to go out there and shoot nobody. What's up? Come on now. Let's make uh uh y'all. See what I'm saying? Y'all getting perfect on me now. If you go feel if you go come on here being perfect, please don't send the request if you're about to go perfect. Because when I got my Nintendo game, it came with the joystick and it came with the gun for duck hunt. You see what I'm saying? I used to take the game and blow it and stick it in there. And used to press the go button. You see what I'm saying? And we used to watch play duck hunt and we used to be shooting the people and all that now they ain't even gonna go outside and shoot nobody it was a it's, you know what i'm saying when I, mean, I was player one and my friend whoever over there player two i was mario they was luigi i'm happy that i always played mario and not luigi <laughs> <laughs> i'm so happy i always played mario and not luigi i knew it was something luigi always had the green and the blue on I knew it was always something. Luigi was the fucking punk all these years. I never knew that until I got older. Luigi was sucking dick. Nasty bitch. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. That's what I'm saying. I ain't never knew that. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. Yes, indeed. Luigi was the fucking punk. I'm telling you. Luigi and I gay. They say Luigi gay. I'm telling you. That's what they say. That's why in Super Mario 3 came out, Luigi was riding the um the dinosaur. Luigi was riding the dinosaur. You get it? <laughs> oh Lord. Hey Keith. I thought this you hear me, Mama? How you getting all these different pages, Mama? What's going on? That's all right, cause I don't know nothing about uh, Instagram, so I just makes me some pages. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I want to talk about yeah. When I was coming up, we played jacks. <laughs> My sister taught us how to play jacks. We jump rope. Right. I played baseball for twenty something years. Okay. I bought all of the championship, and when the dudes was out there doing their thing. They respected us young young children and our parents. You understand? They did not disrespect us. And then when they wanted to kill somebody, they walked up on them. They didn't go in those crowd and you know shoot nobody. You understand? They taught us. They gave us life. They gave us respect. You understand? They showed us how to survive and how to teach others. You know, my mother didn't play with us. 
You cannot sit in front of old folks' conversation. You cannot, period. I had an auntie. She used to spit in a bucket to that tobacco. Yeah. And if and if they didn't want to move, she'll spit that 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 juice in their face. I bet they moved in. You understand? <laughs> it was respect. <laughs> yeah. It was respect. And we were a close, close knit family coming up. I was the baby. And I was very spurred. I didn't have nothing to do because I had an older sister, I had an auntie, and my mother. You understand? Right. And my sister was a seamstress. She taught me how to sew. She taught me how to knit. You know, she taught us these things. And I couldn't do these things until I can go outside. I had to make a, a like a, a, a knit pot holder or do something. You understand? And the way they dress these children now, when we were coming up, you couldn't be dressed like that. You understand? Every Sunday, we had, I had a Ken Kane uh, dress on, hair pretty, going to church. I come out of a church. You understand? I was taught. I was raising children since I was 12, 13 years old. I didn't live a childhood life because you couldn't tell them no. You understand? You say no, you're going to get your behind with. That's right. She must have pressed the button. Back, mama, come back. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to just be honest. Me today as an adult with my own everything. I drive to church on a Sunday. I'm telling you now, if I got something to go do, if I got a booking, if I'm going to want to go to the second line and I got to go buy me some shoes or something to go before I go to the second line, I'm leaving church early. I have that right. I'm telling you what's going on. That's what I'm I'm going to do what I won't do. But I don't know. You, you can't keep blaming these people. You can't blame the... Oh, yeah. Let me say this part. I'm about to add... Oh, they got so many people I'm trying to get in here. I'm going to add all these people. But let me say this part. Being a policeman, being a fireman, being a mayor, being a council member, being whatever you want, a doctor, all all those people are working a job. That's just their occupation. That's just what they do. That's where they work. Just because they're policemen, just because they're, they're, they're mayors, just because they're council members, that don't mean that they're, they're, they're um, superheroes. The fuck? They human just like you human. So just because if they start shooting and you see the police running, Bitch, them people is human. Ain't you running? Oh, so since we both humans, but I'm a police and got a different outfit on than you got on, I got to run at the bullet when you running from the bullet. No, bitch, we all human. We all go run for shelter or something. Y'all got to stop with all of that. Them people is not superheroes. Them people is a, has a job and they're, that's just the occupation. Please, y'all got to just stop accusing people of stuff. Accuse yourself for raising a murderer. That's what you got to do. You got to hold yourself accountable. My child do anything of the sort, you got to know. Go take your bath, son. I'm standing by you. And when he in the bathroom, I'm calling 911. Bring the SWAT team and get him out of here. I feel like I'm underwater. Yeah. Yes, girl. You feel like you feel like you're underwater. Yeah. It's worse. It's worse now. You know, my stupid ass cousin here talking about that man in, um for, for me, when he out there trying to fight everybody, girl, please, my poor cousin. Let's talk about the scammer. You better shut up, stinker. You better shut up, because everybody's comments is, stinker, you come up here. Since we can't get somebody else up here, you come up here. We got questions for you, stinker. Let me send my cousin the, the lie. Let me send my cousin. I got some questions to ask my cousin. Mm.
Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut the comments off because I don't need y'all bitches playing with my cousin. I'm going to ask my cousin something. You bitches ain't going to ask my cousin nothing. I'm going to ask my cousin something. He declined. Come up here. You commenting, tagging people and talking. Come up here. I got a question for you. Since we can't get who we need up here, I need to ask you what's going on. What's going on? All these people accounts is getting touched. What is going on? Please, cousin, come up here for one second. Please. Please, one second. Just one second, cousin, please. One second. I just got one question. Just one second, please. Please, the great people got one question, please. I ain't gonna go hard Hold on, y'all just gotta he keep it. Stanker, come up here one time, one minute. All right, you're gonna come up here, huh? Let me just let me just uh, pin your name so they can know who you is and they can come ask you questions. Please, please. I got a question for you. I'm gonna try. I'm about to add just Sean, but let me try to get my cousin up here. I'm trying to ask him a question about something. Please. He keep declining. I'm going to try you one more time, please. Come up here, because I'm trying to find out something. Please stop declining and come on here. He, <laughs> he keep declining. Mm -hmm. Let me bring this young man up here. This man here goes to LSU, and now he's a... Let me ask you something. Let me say, let me ask you something, bitch, because you're playing with me about this hockey caribou. But let me ask you something. You go to LSU, you made it, get the gat thing. I ain't gonna lie, you've been viral with get the gat. Now you are an inspired bounce rapper? Ent entertainer. No, 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 bounce rapper. You really need, you really need some dick now? I ain't gonna lie. To the, to the world, they don't know the bounce artist is. That's what I'm worrying about. Oh. I'm an entertainer. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Right, right. I ain't gonna lie. You is promoting the fuck out of yourself. Would you like to give oh, yeah, it, 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 it? It's up. Yeah. Your last two songs sound like your lyrics are the same. And what song? The last two. You know, every day you're dropping something. I dropped three. Right. The last two sound just alike. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Us people from the New Orleans, we don't like them people who say, um, um, I don't like them people. So why do you keep making videos with them people? Them people stupid. Uh, <laughs> Boy, what they be saying? That's my dog, man. Like, what they be saying again? Girl, where you yeah. going? Hey, mm -hmm. They're my dogs, man. Where they from? They're from New Orleans. They're from here. They're from New Orleans. I never saw them. They wear fake products. They wear fake um everything. They dress pool. They got he wears sheer shirts. Hey, I hate it. Uh, his hair cut drawn on. His hair is spray painted. He got contacts. I don't get it. I'm confused about something. It'd be the contacts. It'd be all the fake jewelry, his neck turning green. What's going on? What's going on? I'm telling you. You know, we're not claiming them. Look, I'm about to invite him in. Where they going to get that on here? <laughs> I'm trying to hey, wait, not. You know what I really want to know? I really want to know why the fuck, because as soon as I started saying something, people start putting the eyes. And the nigga talking about, oh, you know why? What the fuck I know? I need to find out right now. You know what? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I had typed something, what's and the then like about four from What you put? What's the something? I, I had put laughing faces. I was laughing at what you said. What I and said. then like about four or five people started putting the eyes. And I'm like, what the fuck y'all putting that for? Probably because I'm telling you, because when you started making videos with the girl where you're going, mwah. <laughs> That'd be enough for me. But see, that little red one come and he said, Ma, 
That be it. That right there. Yeah, that part there. That be it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude is the wackest dude in America. Tell me. Damn, why the hell fucking know my son? Because I don't understand. What's the problem? They got the haircuts drawn on. They got contacts going on. They got the makeup going on. It just be too much. Money. Look, you know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? What? Why people don't want to, from here don't want to accept them? What? What happened? Because they ain't, they ain't the, the, the usual niggas y'all see. Right. Rapping. Got the, the dread, the tattoos, the... They, they do got the dreads. His dreads start way back here. In the haircut, he got a fade, dreads, braids. He got a lot going on. What's going on? I don't... I can't speak for him. All you can say is, my... That's all you can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your new friends, huh? So you and your friends just be Oscar. Yeah, I'm Oscar, you and your friends. My out of here yes indeed that's my, my dog subtweet sean make sure y'all follow sean bro sean dropping them bitches i ain't gonna lie sean dropping them bitches i ain't gonna lie between sean i ain't gonna say it's a competition but between sean and og purple <laughs> i ain't gonna lie og purple and sean dropping them bitches <laughs> hey what's going on <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, girl, that was a little deep. Save me more, I can. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like them. Well, you know, yeah, I can see none of y'all from New Orleans. Because, see, you you from Morero, huh? Good. Asta. 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 Yeah, you the same way. Because, see, you from way down yonder, too. Let me get you up all over here. None of you people are from New Orleans. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Who is this? Mm hmm. Girl, where you going? Ma. And that little one just the ma puts the knife in you. And when the last one come on and say ma, that be it. Hello. Hi, how hey, are you? Hi. Hey, Keith. Hey, Keith. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing well. I was coming on to comment on the um, issues that you were yes, discussing about earlier with the children. What are you? I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and I've been working with okay. a licensed clinical social worker, and I've been working with kids for about okay. 23 years at this point. Um, what I find is the issues are systemic. I do agree with what you're saying to a certain degree about the games should not have you keep saying that the games don't have, shouldn't make the kids right. do that. And I agree with you. However, the games do have an influence. When I say the issues that's going on with these children are systemic, it has a lot to do with environment. It has a lot to do with poverty, education, lack of finances. And let's be real. If we look back at it, these children that we are dealing with today are the product of the crack system, right? The crack epidemic that took place. Remember when crack came in, it took all of our parents out. All of the black, black and brown men went to go into jail. These were children that were right. left to be governed by grandparents, right? Grandparents did the best they could with what they had. Then you already being raised by 70, 80 year old grandparents, 60 to 80 year old grandparents. Now these children have had right. their own kids, okay? So they're running wild. We also have to remember that Parents are just, right now, they're not emotionally and physically there. The cost of rent as a social worker in New Orleans, and I'm sure all of us can comment on this, that's doing any form of therapy or case management, rent is running you $1,700, yes, $1,200, When the price that they're paying these people that's is $9 true. an hour. So how you want me to work two and three jobs but still be physically and emotionally available for my children? Women are tired. Dad is not in the house, and if they, they're just not pulling their part. On top of that, you have grandparents that's raising children. I know my mom herself is raising my niece. My mom is exhausted. My mom, 70, 70 years old. She shouldn't be raising a 19-year-old, 18-year-old. So we have to check in and make sure that my mom totally is agree. okay. I this. totally agree. It is. It's a lot. It really is a lot. Oh, she done left. I probably pushed out. Come back, ma'am. I'm sorry. Now, Sean got messy like that and the, the, the people, the um, the mwah people on here. 
Sean, you got to stop. Now, Sean, you got, got to stop. So come on back. The fresh, let me add the fresh and reckless people. Now, Sean, you down, babe. Girl, where you going? <laughs> Girl, where you going? <laughs> oh. See, you already know we're from New Orleans. Yeah, yeah man. man. See, catch that boy in the cut. See, look. Wow. Uh, what's up? What's up with you? Um, like, like, like a hundred people sent me your live. Sound like you, hear me? Uh, like, what's up? Yeah, because that bitch Sean was on here. Listen, not for real. Girl, where you going? What's the um wow part? For real? Me, what's the, Come on. Um, wow. Is this the nah, nah, um, what? Uh, is that? <laughs> That's all it is. See, I'm telling you, you're a mistake. I gotta hear you do it now, so you gotta try it. So. No, I can't. I can't. I, can I ain't gonna lie. I hate it. I hate it. I ain't gonna lie. I hate it. Like hey. everybody been tearing y'all ass up. Hey, right? I, I know y'all see it. I ain't gonna lie. They I ain't gonna lie. Tearing y'all ass up. But guess what though? I ain't gonna lie. Bad publicity. Publicity, good publicity is all publicity. I ain't gonna so lie. I know y'all fucking it up. Get, get, get it. Get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. lie. So is there a real song? Yeah, that's a real song. That's, that's real what I'm saying. Song. Like, ha like a lot of people seeing a real song, and some of them still just think it's just like a viral video. Oh, it's a real song. Like, you hear me? Well, how do the song go? Girl, we are going. <laughs> throw that ass back here. Mm, ah, throw that ass right there. Don't let them niggas play you. No. Don't sing the whole thing. You ain't gonna I, go I, listen to it. I, I, I ain't gonna listen to it. I, I go and, and if you think about it, though, it's really not a bad song. People just, they follow a narrative where if one person says bad, they're not gonna go listen to it. That's why people just gotta stick to All I do is I TikTok, I TikTok love the song. No, everybody we getting loves book, the song. We getting booked from the song. Yeah, it, it is what it is. And none of that even matters what they're talking about. We love the hate. Yeah, Thank you, New Orleans. You hear me? So listen, so listen. Uh, uh, here, uh, it was more than two of y'all. Where the other members went at? They oh, the other two. No, they, they right here, they, Yeah, I don't know why people are seeing two people. Yeah, it's really four of us. Like, we see four of us. The only two people that's doing the videos and all that. Come on now. Nah, nah, it's really four of us. I don't know why everybody's seeing two. It's like, we, see, like, we see a million videos. We gonna add you in the group even though y'all yeah. won't do it. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, 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 I no. I ain't gonna lie. See, I ain't, I'm gonna keep it 100. See, D-Lo, I, I know you. You is like the captain of the group. <laughs> <laughs> but see, if I come, you gonna be mad. Oh, no, you, I really run this motherfucker. No, you, you, you gotta run it. You gotta outshine me. You gotta run it. You gotta run it. You cannot outshine you me. Bro. Run it. Say what that boy's talking about. Pig. Say, Keith, what you talking about, son? Ooh. I'm real life. Listen, I'm real life. I run this motherfucking thing. Ooh. I call it. Oh, you run it. I see oh. what you said, but, but you ain't gonna. You ain't, you ain't gonna. You gonna out sing and dance me. Ooh. <laughs> I ain't got to do all that. All I gotta do is show up. Oh. Show up, baby. I see you. I see oh, you. Oh, oh, your your booking price is higher than ours right now. Oh, huh? well, of course. You know, I'm really booked and busy now. Come okay. on, man. you know, we're at ATL right now. We just did a booking. Yeah, and look, everybody pop out at the hookah joint, too. We just got booked for that Saturday. You hear me? What's up, the hookah sure. joint? Well, you know, the hookah joint on Saturday is my night. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. oh, my. oh that's Lord. You're going to so be really? there? Huh? You're going to be there? Gonna Check be the fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Fly. The only thing's going to fly. Hey, oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah. See, oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yes, Thanks. Lord. Stick, stick at it, hit, 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 my blicky up on the dresser. So do y'all come in and the thing? Let I'm me get Ryan in. So who booked y'all for Saturday, Ryan? Uh -huh. Who booked y'all for Saturday, Ryan? I don't know. I, I don't my know. manager told manager, me. Zulka name. Oh, you, you know all you the know. connects. You know. Me, I, Ryan about to come here. Ryan right here. Let me get Ryan in here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's run it. Go crazy. So how many y'all coming? Y'all two or four, yo? Nah, it's just it's, it's just it's just us two and security. Mm. I know the fuck. What y'all need security for? See, I'm saying. Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah, hey, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, watch it, watch it. We not hot, huh? We don't need security, huh? Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me no, explain you. Yeah, we need the a, listen. When a, let me tell you. When a group, the only group from the city that's on some oh. pop star shit. So check this out. No. When did you, you know when a group come out, even with B2K, Miles Baby, when a group go out, it's a different type of love, bro. They're going to go crazy. It's different from just a regular gangster artist in a pop 